All right, guys, we're out here working on uh, going from one bar to, I think it's a three bar map, maybe it's a four bar map, I don't know, but uh, whatever used, whatever's used on the LT4. Um, this is a sensor I ordered, it was around 20 bucks. Here's the part number. It's uh, 126 44807. 126 44807 off of an LT4. And of course, we're removing the uh, one bar stock one bar math, which is a three wire. And this new one is a four wire, which it, it includes. Uh, uh, the three map sensor wires plus a temperature sensor wire. So you can wire it up to uh, read IETs. So what I've done here is I've just, here's the Whipple extension harness and I simply just cut uh, you know the uh, stock plug off. This is a plug I ordered on Amazon. It's actually for a Polaris ATV but it fits the uh, um, this T-map and uh, I think it's by Motorall, Mo Mo Motol. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but uh, here's the wiring. The four wires you see, the blue, white, yellow, and green are coming from the plug side. And then there's the wires going to the uh, map side. Now don't worry about this yellow one. I just, I pinned that yellow one in there just as a temperature sensor if I ever want to hook it up. But these are the three, so green to green, yellow to gray, and then white to black. Please verify before you go soldering that that's correct. Um, here's the yellow wire hanging out here that I was talking about that I just hooked up that for the T-map. I'm not going to hook up, just going to cap it off for now. And this is the wire that's tapped into the green one for the fuel pump controller. So you probably won't have to mess with that. You won't have that either. Um, here's the wiring I found online. It's from Whipple. Apparently they have a harness. I think it's for a 6.2 kit. Uh, Camaro kit, but here is the wiring for the plug. Now this is looking at the plug, not the sensor. At you're looking at the plug facing you. So uh, you can see. So map signal is to the far right, and uh, what is that? Yeah, ground is to the far left. IET, you won't use that. That's listed as pin two. You won't be using that more than likely. And here is. The stuff you need right here. I'll try to post a link to this little image in a description. But there it is right there. And you can, uh, the little, the blue and white striped wire you see going across, you can hook that into your, you can disconnect the, the uh, IT sensor wire from your math and connect that in there and use that one if you wanted to. We're not going to do that because Whipple already breaks it out for us, but that could be done. All right, let me hook it up and, uh, we're going to have to get a baseline of pressure. We'll plug our old sensor into the, uh, into the harness. We'll get a, a reading with just the key on. And then we'll plug in this one and try to get and use HP tuners to, uh, to calibrate it. Hopefully. All right. Let's get it on the truck. Okay. Got our harness out here. Um, I've plugged the uh, the one bar back into the uh, the harness here. Um, we're going to get a reading on that at, at just with the key on. So when we plug in this one, uh, we can compare the two and make sure they jive after we calibrate it. Let me do that. All right, so we got the scanner up here. Cut the key on. Open it up. All right, you can see right here. That's what we're shooting for, 14.7938 PSI. So, after we change the settings for the map in, uh, in HP tuners and we put the, the new map sensor on, that's, it should be very close to that right there. So let me, let me write this down. All right, All right I got the, the tune open here. Uh, I got my tune, my tune in the main window, and we have a an LT4 Corvette I got from the HP Tuners repository in the 
compare. And this is what we're worried about right here. These two configurations right here. And that is on the L83 or what I'm, my truck. And here is what's on the LT4. So we have to change those two settings over. And to do that easily, you can just go over here to this. This little deal up here. Click on that. And you can go down here and that's the difference between the two. But if you go in here and change these both to zero, that will change it. Yep, there we go. All right, so now we should be able to save this, flash it, and then plug in the new sensor, and we ought to be very close to this uh, 14.7938, hopefully. Let's see what happens. All right, I've unplugged that one, and now we've got it plugged in over here. Here's our sensor right here. So let's go over here and cut on the scanner and see how close we are here. close. I don't know if we're right on it, but it's 14.6488. Uh, so we're off just a little bit. I'm not so sure that matters. Um, pretty close. We're at 101 kPa. I think that's pretty good. Oh, <laughs> I don't have it plugged into the manifold. <laughs> Alright, let me plug in the manifold and see if... Uh, Seattle's all right. All right, let's try that again. Looks good to me. Well, that was easy. Yep. All right. Well, I'll drive it around a few days, make sure everything works out all right. But uh, and I'll go over the wiring again. That seems to be pretty easy. There's the old sensor right here. Just cut it off and put the new one on. It's about a thirty-dollar solution. All right, everything looks good. All right, let me go over the wiring for this thing one more time. Um, and this is for this Motol. I'll put a link in the description from Amazon for this plug. But that only applies to this plug. I don't know if the wires would be different color on a uh, different plug or whatever. But uh, for this one, uh, green to green, which is signal. The moto is green. The harness side is green. Um, the white on the plug side goes to the black on the harness side. That is the ground wire. The yellow goes to the gray. That's the five volt reference. And this last one, the blue one, is the IAT out, or the blue to the yellow is the IAT. Now you may not, you probably won't use that. You can, I mean, if you want to break your IAT out of your uh, your MAF sensor, that's what it's for. And I've I went ahead and extended mine and ran it out here just in case I ever want to use it. And this other green wire you see sticking out is for uh, my fuel pump controller. It just taps into the signal wire. That's all it does. And I've got this weather pack connected for it. Clean it all up. So. Yeah, real, real easy. I mean, that's just, uh, yeah, it's about $30 a part worth of parts. I think this thing was 20 bucks, and yeah, the, uh, not that, the uh, connector was uh, around $12. And like I said, this is not a GM connector. It's off of a Polaris ATV, believe it or not. So I'll put the, the link in the description, but that's an easy way to go to, uh, from one to three bars or four bars, whatever this sensor is. It's enough sensor for me, for my purposes anyway. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let me go out there and put this in the manifold. Call it a day.